hyper aware of all these hazards. Even John James, he's preparing to serve an arrest warrant for an armed and dangerous suspect wanted yep. for drug possession and a parole violation. Sergeant James does believe the suspect has an assault rifle. Let's go. Yeah, so right now, uh, what we found out, we got some other information that we found out that he has an AR-15 in the residence. So having a rifle, what we're going to do is knowing that he knows that he's wanted. So, of course, what we're going to do first is do a surround and call out. That's the safest uh, course of action when we're looking for the body. We're not actually doing a search warrant for drugs or anything like that. So what we're going to do is surround the residence, call him out, and then if he doesn't come out, he barricades himself, then we'll go a step further and we'll look at calling uh, SWAT. Six houses on the left. Make sure he ain't. We'll come back. Okay, that house is surrounded. We have to take a quick break. Adidas tea for dollar. A nervous you have an First responders live into this dangerous scene in South Carolina. Sergeant Sean James and his team again are outside a home they believe contains an armed and dangerous man. Antoine Lane is back with us, and Antoine, they have this house surrounded, but what would you be worried about here? The most dangerous aspect of a call like this is during the approach. Officers have to find a location that puts <laughs> eyes on the residents, but still offers them some form of cover and concealment. He's on the ground. Hey, you got him around rear? Hey, Jesse, you got him? Wait, we got him. Hey, got him. Got him. 